Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me here today. My name is Dr. Shane Doyle. I'm a member of the Upsalaga Nation, or Crow Tribe, and I'm here today at the Madison Buffalo Jump State Park. And so right directly behind me here, you can see the cliff that the bison would come down and they would fall uh, and that they would injure them severely, uh, the ones that would come over this cliff. And uh, they would be harvested and utilized uh, for teepees, of course for meat, for eating. Uh, their bones would be used for all kinds of different utensils. Um, also the, uh, their hides would be used for clothing. Um, just many different uh, tools were used here. And so this site was used for over 2,000 years. People came here. So if you can imagine uh, coming back to the same place, this was kind of like a Costco for them. Uh, this was like uh, an old day Walmart uh, where everything could be found. Uh, the bison uh, was an animal that uh, the native people used for everything. Uh, they would use their horns for drinking cups. Um, they would use their, uh, their hooves for glue. Uh, they would use their ribs for sleds in the winter. Uh, of course, they would use their hides to, to make teepees. Um, they would use their tails for fans or to swat flies. Um, just all kinds of different uses for the bison. And so this important place here really is representative of the ancient way of life that's existed here in Montana for over 13,000 years. Yes, people still hunt buffalo today in Montana in 2020. And although we don't live in teepees and use all those tools that we used to historically, we're still deeply connected as native people to this animal. And all of us in Montana have it in our inheritance uh, to protect these places for future generations and to come out and enjoy them as public participants.